On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to do a review on this Ollie Gavinas planner and let you know my thoughts. I really want to say thank you to Ollie for reaching out to us about this planner. They did sponsor this video. So now let's go back a little bit in time and I'm going to show you how I put this together. getting it in place. I'm fixing to have to go get ready to show houses now, so I'm about to finish it today. That's the story of my life when it comes to doing stuff. I can only do it until I have to go show houses, which I'm going to show houses with the house. I can come back and try to get it leveled up maybe today. If not, it's going to be like a week because I'm not going to be able to finish it. But I love how this is going to look right here. And what I love is if I wanted to, which I'm not because I'm not a gardening kind of person, this would be perfect if you want, if you had a small space and you wanted to garden, it could be a raised flower bed. All right, till the day that I'm gonna fill it and get it all ready. And then I will bring you along for that part so that we can talk about how to fill this big thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on before I call it a day. about 45 minutes I would say to get it totally together. I need to feel like I need to get a little screwdriver because all the places that it's put together I'm having a hard time getting the stripping down over it. So I feel like I need like a little screwdriver to kind of help it over because it's a little thicker on those spots. But other than that now I got to go get ready. I am running out of time. Bill's involved. Here comes out the level. got it level we'll need to fill this with something and on my research and I researched this because well I'm not a gardener and uh, I don't know a whole lot about gardening but in my research it said that if you wanted to use filler in it to help so you don't use as much dirt you can use bricks you can use rocks you can use plastic bottles to fill it up it did say not to use pine bark mulch it could cause the roots of the plants to get root rot. Now I don't know all that, so don't like if you get me in the comments. I like I don't know. I'm just reading what I had researched. And we have quite a bit of brick. I'm gonna use that as our filler, and we ended up leveling it, and we had quite a bit of dirt that we were able to use from that. Once I get this filled up, and then I gotta get plants in it, and then I'll have the final video. So I went today and got some more topsoil. I ended up using seven really big bags, but we did have a little bit of the dirt that we had dug out that we used in there. I really feel like I could have probably used one or two more bags, but we're gonna make this work. I feel like it's all gonna start flowing over and it's gonna be pretty once I get it all planted. 